Hi, my name is Ilma, and today I'd like to share John 21, 18 to 25. Truly, truly, I say to you, when you were younger, you used to gird yourself and walk wherever you wished. But when you grow old, you will stretch out your hands and someone else will gird you and bring you where you do not wish to go. Now this is, now this he said, signifying by what kind of death he would glorify God. And when he had spoken this, he said to him, follow me. Peter turning around saw the disciple whom Jesus loved he said to him, I'm sorry, uh, whom Jesus loved, following them, the one who also had leaned back on his bosom at the supper and said, Lord, who is the one who betrays you? So Peter, seeing him, said to Jesus, Lord, and what about this man? Jesus said to him, if I want him to remain until I come, what is that to you? You follow me. Therefore, this saying went out among the brethren that the disciple would not die. Yet Jesus did not say to him that he would not die, but only, if I want him to remain until I come, what is that to you? This is the disciple who is testifying to these things and wrote these things, and we know that his testimony is true. And there are also many other things which Jesus did, which if they were written in detail, I suppose that even the world itself would not contain the books that would be written. John 21, 18 to 25. Here's my devotional. Foreshadowing of Peter's death. In this account, Jesus talks to Peter, giving him a prophecy of what is to come in his life in the coming years of his ministry. Verse 1 gives us a picture of Peter being crucified from the words, You will stretch out your hands and someone else will gird you and bring you where you do not wish to go. Someone will bind his hands just like when one is crucified. Verse 20 shows Peter's personality. He always wants to be ahead and know things. He likes to boast and take control. He wants to know who among them will betray Jesus. In verse 21, we also see Peter's insecurity. So he asks, what is going to happen to John? And we see his boundarylessness. Jesus confronted him and put him in place, letting him know that it is none of his business to know what his plans for John is. Can we all relate to Peter? Aren't we all humans proud and arrogant? wanting to know everything and taking control over things we have no responsibility for. Most humans want to be able to control situations beyond their capacity and end up being controllers and manipulators. What a mess we all are. And yet Jesus uses all messy people like Peter and like sinners and haughty people like us to bring glory to God. Reflection. Why is boundaries very important in relationships? <clears throat> God created almost everything with boundaries. We see physical boundaries, like He created the sky from the sea separate. Um, he created us separate from other people by having a skin and a body that is different from the others. Um, he created <clears throat> boundaries so that we know what is ours and what is someone else's. So in a relationship, when you don't know your role, you don't know your responsibility, then you're going to be boundaryless. In other words, boundaryless people do not... Uh, are not responsible for their role, do not do their role, their, their, their assigned role in their relationship. So boundary, sorry, boundary is very important because when we have boundaries, we are actually exercising God's law because one of the laws of God is that um, we need to follow what uh, He is giving to us so that he will bring all the promises that he gives for us. 
So that's why when you are in a relationship that is unhealthy, you will know that there are so many boundaries that are being violated. So in this verse, we see the death of Peter being foreshadowed by Jesus. He explains that he's going to be crucified like him, but um, that is because he is going to do the work of the Lord. So I encourage you to not be scared when things are not happening your, happening your way and that I encourage you also to, to be able to be cognizant of the responsibilities that you are you, that God has given you and, and, and apply it and use it and um, do not defy what God has given you. Thanks for watching. I hope you check my website at ilmaaris.com for artworks and photographs and I hope you subscribe to my channel on YouTube so I could make more videos for the Lord. Thanks for watching.